Welcome everybody back. Today we're going to be showcasing the top six best OP guns to use inside of MWZ. If you do end up enjoying this video, do not forget to drop a like and subscribe. Let's get a word from our sponsor and most importantly, enjoy. If you're looking to unlock the new MW3 camos such as Interstellar and Borealis, or just play in lobbies where you can level up your guns and unlock camos rapidly, all the best schematics, or even instant delivery pre-made accounts, be sure to check out MitchCactus.com. They're the biggest and most reliable sellers with heaps of brand new offerings for MW3 with completely safe and legitimate services for Xbox Play. PlayStation and PC. Link is in the description. Make sure you guys use code SPAZO for 5% off. RGL is a awesome all-around weapon. It's actually very, very good in tough situations whenever you guys just need something to shoot over a wall and take down an enemy without peeking it. Now, you guys will notice at the beginning of games, it's not going to be that good. Now, once you guys do pack a punch it, and get yourself PhD flopper. You'll be able to just stand still and just shoot at the ground and no zombies will be able to hit you as well with you will do a ton of damage. Now, once you do pack is the only time you can directly impact however far you want. Now, although this is not very good to special zombies and bosses, it is awesome to use to kill zombies and basically just help your squad out and destroy some. But remember, don't use it against a boss because it is simply just not good. But you can always be that support line or you guys can run an ether nest and destroy them and very quickly get through them even in the tier 3 zone. As you guys can see I have a tier 3 packed uh, gray weapon and I'm still just cooking over here. No zombies are able to hit me. Um, but yeah, this is going to be the M13B. This is one of the best, if not the best, assault rifle you can run inside of MWZ. It absolutely shreds everything no matter what zone you're in. As you guys can see in the gameplay right now, we have a level one packed gray weapon and we are just shredding through tier two zombies. Now with the exact build that we do have, you're going to have over 120 rounds. So you're definitely gonna be able to fry multiple zombies as well with this does shred special zombies. We are just shredding all those zombies. Okay, I would like to try and find a special zombie real quick. Here's an ether nest. So we have it tier two packed. We can go ahead and hurry up and do this ether nest. It's definitely a lot easier to do this whenever you are running the M13B. It goes pretty quick. Go ahead and take this guy down. Now, obviously, we have dead shot as well, so that does help with headshots. Let's go ahead and reload. 120 rounds. We have tier 2 packed gray rarity. No rarity whatsoever on it. Let's go ahead and move in. Shoot this one. Any more in here? There's one right there. Let's go ahead and jump out this window. We can play it up real quick. Throw on one single plate, that's all we have. The vest, throw it on, there we go. Getting tier two pack is definitely not a challenge at all inside of MWZ. There we go, sis destroyed. There's one right there, sis destroyed. Sis destroyed, activity completed. So it's definitely very good to run the M13B. This gun is awesome as well. The build is pretty simple. We'll go ahead and get right on into the actual build of this weapon. For the build for the M13, we're going to be running the 14-inch Bruin Eklon barrel with the FTAC MSP 98 uh, underbarrel, then the 60-round magazine, the slate refractor, as well with the M13 FS collapse. That is going to be the build for our M13B. Now, when running the Sidewinder, you're going to find yourself very powerful with this gun, no matter what zone you are in. Now, obviously, the gun is not going to be great in Tier 3 if you have it zero-packed and gray rarity. Um, that's just kind of common sense. But once you guys do end up having enough essence, you guys can head over to a Pack-A-Punch machine, go ahead and get this thing up. And as you guys can see, it is gray. And once we headshot, it's we're actually doing a lot of damage on zombies. Uh, this is definitely one of the best weapons to use right now in game. Now, if you do mix this with uh, Deadshot Daiquiri or uh, any other perks that basically help you move quicker, aim faster, uh, just kind of move around a whole lot better, you're going to find yourself very OP. We have this gun triple packed, but we have it zero rarity at gray rarity, which is basically nothing at all. No damage increase just from the rarity itself. So we're going to test it out on some tier three zombies and see just how good it is. Hopefully uh, we, we, we absolutely don't get slapped. So we got a zombie right here. Let's go ahead and start shooting him. Now zero rarity and we're doing actually a lot of damage on them. Rarity is the biggest increaser of damage in the game. So as you guys can see, oh my God, <laughs> no way, dude. 
So, uh, as you guys can see, this gun absolutely shreds zombies no matter what. Now, obviously, we're not really set up to be in the Tier 3 zone, but that is just kind of a little uh, explanation of how good this gun can truly be, especially when it has a ether tool on it, whether it's legendary, purple, rare, you know, uh, whatever you're going to use, it's going to just make this gun better than what it is. So, that being said, uh, let's go ahead and get into the build we're actually running to make this gun such an OP weapon to use inside of MWZ. The Sidewinder build we're going to be running is the Rattlebag Deadeye 16 inch barrel, the FTAC MSP 98 underbarrel, the 30 round drum, and then the RB Regal heavy stock for the stock. That is the build we're going to be running. Now, as you guys can see, there's only four, so you can add one however you want it. Uh, you can either do an optic or a rear grip. You can also even throw on some ammo if you guys want to, to increase a little bit of damage, which sometimes works, sometimes it doesn't. So that's kind of up to you with the build, but this is the base build you do want to be running with this weapon. So listing at number three, we're going to be running the tiers. Now, these are a awesome selection to use inside of MWZ, at least right now or today I should say they've been feeling pretty good today now as you guys know they nerf things almost every day they nerf and buff everything probably about five times before the game's life cycles over with so the tiers are really really good for boss fights a little bit with zombie control I would say a main big pro of this is fighting bosses and special zombies now obviously you can destroy zombies anywhere but without speed cola you guys can see that the reload on it is not the best and it can definitely get you killed when you're in the tier 3 zone now you can shoot one at a time but once you get to the tier 3 zone you're gonna have to two tap which is the reason why you run a Kimbo because you can shoot two at once, which is going to make it a one shot for multiple zombies whenever you're in the higher tier threat zones. For the sake of the video, I brought in a legendary ether tool just to show this gun at max potential, but we're also going to triple pack it because we want to see what it's like at maximum damage just to show you guys how good this weapon truly is. All right, here we go. Mega Abomination versus the tears. Let's go ahead and get his attention. Let's wait for him to do this. Shoot his eye. There's one eye. Now we need to get him to laser again. Let's go ahead and get up here. We need him to shoot his lasers. Two shot. Let's go ahead and spin around, do a little spin -a -roo. Throw that, take down some of these zombies. Oh, that's Ether Shroud. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude. Some of the, sometimes when he charges, it's like super weird. Oh. All right. Let's go ahead and hop up top here. Now, whenever you get to a point where he can't get to high up, he's going to laser you automatically. So there you guys go. We miss one of the shots. Let's go ahead and reload. There we go. So that's how good it is with the Mega Abomination Bounty Contract in the Tier 3 zone. Um, we're going to go ahead and get into the build of this actual tier setup. So make sure you guys use this and check it out. But make sure you guys also test out the other builds and the other weapons that we're going to be running. Because there is one special that is honestly the most broken thing in the game right now. So for the tiers, we're going to be running the ZIU 16-inch Heavy Long Barrel Barrel, the KRHX 15 Laser for the laser, and then the 12.7X 55mm Snake Shot Rounds, then the Alley's Regret Trigger Action, as well with the Akimbo tiers. Now make sure you are running the Akimbo, as that's what makes it very, very good, as well with Snake Shot Ammunition. Coming in at the second place, we're going to be running the Lockwood 680. Now, once you guys do have the opportunity to pack a punch this weapon and get it to a rarity you'll like, you'll notice that it will demolish anything. But most importantly, it shoots 10 slugs at once, which makes it so powerful whenever you center the shot on the zombie. Now, obviously, that's a tier one zombie. So we're going to head to the tier three zone and just see how much damage this shotgun actually does. We're now in the tier three zone and basically we're going to get a few zombies put together. Let's see if all of these guys will kind of jump together into a big horde and we can basically take them all down all right how many do we have we have a few all right let's 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 do some action so there we go now obviously dead shot would just make this shotgun even more good than what it is because you can lock onto heads of actual zombies but as you guys can see it's pretty much a one shot now on headshots you can kill armored zombies in uh one shot as well so this is the best shotgun in the game. As we all know, the shotguns are very, very bad. 
very bad. Um, I definitely recommend running this shotgun, especially in the dark ether. But this just makes your life so much easier when you're running tier 3 zone or tier 3 contracts. Instead of using anything else, I do recommend this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I swear I've gone down every single time I've come here because I just do not buy perks. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, that was terrible. But, uh, yeah, so we're going to get into the build of how I like to run this shotgun. I personally think it's the best build in the game. Man, we are just destroying. Oh, my God. <laughs> we absolutely destroyed those zombies. These are tier 2 zombies, so we know it's just going to be OP. Super OP against them. Wait, let's check out the range real quick. I do want to showcase the range a little bit. Um, Where's a zombie? Can we get one far away? Ooh, we got some over here. Okay, there's one right there. We did half damage from this far away when we did a center mass shot. Got a guy right there. We missed, though. Okay, those guys are down. There we go. So, yeah, that basically showcases just how good this weapon truly is. Um, so let's go ahead and get directly into the build so you guys can hop in game and start running this weapon. For the Lockwood 680 build, we're going to be running the Crown Breaker Choke Muzzle, the Lockwood Defender Long Barrel for the Barrel, the 12 gauge Slug Ammunition, which is the most important attachment on this weapon. Then we have the Express Light Bolt for uh, faster rechambering speed, and then most importantly, the Sawed Off Mod. This is the best build you're going to come across when it comes to using the Lockwood 680. The number one best weapon inside of MWZ is going to be the Tanfa. A lot of people misunderstand how good this weapon truly is once you get it packed and have a rarity tool on it. All right, let's take down the Stormcaller. He is right in here. Hopefully I can just land right on him. I think I see him right there. Yeah, that's the Stormcaller, okay. Let's pop a decoy. Come on, kick in. Here he is. Get him, get him. Get him. Stormcaller dead. Easy as that. Uh, what did he drop? Terrible items, but yeah. <laughs> That's the hardest boss before the Red Worm. That was the hardest boss when MWZ originally came out. This thing destroys Mega Abominations. All you gotta do is jump up and hit the eye, and you'll actually demolish them. Now, obviously, we have it triple packed in Epic Rarity. But, I mean, hey, this is the best weapon inside of the game. Now, obviously, there's no build for it because simply it's a melee weapon and you can't put attachments on a melee weapon. Which I think would kind of be cool, though, if they implemented something that you could, like, throw on a melee weapon. Like, oh, it makes it quicker, or, uh, you know, something like that. Or it, it extends the range, or you, it makes uh, the rate at which you can swing quicker, you know. I think that would kind of be cool. But uh, that wraps it up for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know your favorite gun right now in MWZ. Make sure you guys drop a like on this video. Subscribe to the channel as well if you guys have it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good rest of your guys' day. And I'm out. Peace.